Toyota Quality Service presents Fish TV. Bring your Toyota home. Brought to you by Rapala, crafted from experience. Go RV in Canada. Bring back wildhood. Cabela's, world's foremost outfitter. And Eyeliner. With your hosts, Leo Skakos, Ron James, and Jeff Chizzo. Nice, buddy. Yeah, oh, oh, nice fish, giant. Too much. It's a cow. Look at the size of this. <laughs> this is a cow, dude. Look at the size oh of this. My gosh. Gosh. This day's starting off right already. Oh, my goodness. Okay, come on. Hopefully, there's another one with this us. This is a giant, man. This is like a five pounder. Oh, this is a tank. Oh, <laughs> Oh, look at this. <laughs> look how fast. Day two starting all crazy already, buddy. Look at the size of this fish. That's my second cast. Holy mackerel, man. Look how fat he is. Look at the size of him. Okay, there's more here, but let's get them in level, get some pictures okay. after. Good job. That's crazy. Holy mackerel. Nice, buddy. I can't believe this. Dude, the Second cast, second day, part two, and look at it, it's on Ooh. fire. <laughs> God, I'm telling you. Maybe I'm gonna have a better day than yesterday. Because yesterday was a train wreck for me. I got a few fish, but not like you. And if it starts off like that, maybe that's good luck or bad luck. Sometimes they I say I got a question. Why are we whispering? Because the fish are gonna hear us? Because there's other people around, we don't want them to see us. Insane. Second cast, five pound fish right off the bat. That's the way to start out. Give me some love, buddy. Give me some Jumping. Love. Oh, they were jumping. Oh, look at <laughs> Nice fish, Scotty. Beautiful. Mm, that's a nice fish. That's like a two and a half, three pounder for me. Get a twitch bait on there, bud. <laughs> He's throwing the top water. Is that an next pop, Scotty? Yeah. Oh yeah, real nice fish. Yeah, nice. Good way to start the day there, Scotty. Oh boy. Nice little fish to start it with. And gone. And that's how you do it. What the? I, I'm watching him with the tube in his mouth and I'm watching him swim. I'm like, what am I doing? Oh, you got a nice one too. Here we go, baby. Well, bring, bring yours in quick. Double header, baby. Oh, man. Oh, the duke the behind this guy. I looked down, I thought, I thought it was a weed. Oh, that's a nice one, bud. Oh, oh yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, he just ate it. Well, get this guy out here, retie. Day two is starting off like a blast. Yours is a lot louder than mine. Yeah, I think he took that right in. I'm going to let mine go. Wow. I'm sitting there looking at my rock tip. And I look down and I see a fish. You got two fish, so. Stop my line, man! See you later, buddy. These smallmouth are coming up and eating something on the surface. And just that little tail right there might be the ticket. I don't know. I think it's the bait myself, but hey, let's get back at her. Oh, yeah, nice. that's a nice fish. What? See if anybody's with it. Oh, he's off. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice. Scotty Holmes show. I'm going to do the hook show in a second. <laughs> nice little resident fish there, Scotty. Nice little smallmouth. Nice, buddy. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's a beauty. He just swiped it. He just swiped that, see? Okay. One, two, oh, look at three. Look. You're right. 
Look at the hook just fell out. Oh, I thought just he, fell out. He looked bigger than that in the water, didn't he? No, he did. You know what? He's uh, it's a nice one though. This is what we call a resident fish, a fish that lives in the area. We're fishing like a, like a sand flat just before we get to the area where we think the bigger ones are going to be. And you got individual fish that are sitting on these rocks and logs and sand little deposits that are here. Yeah. So let's keep her going. All right, Leo, I'm going to let that go, bud. Beauty that's fish, man. Man, that's a horse right there. Nice. Very close. Look, look. Right down on the bottom. Keep eating your sandwich there, bud. <laughs> I can remember the time I sit down to eat and catch a fish. <laughs> Not a bad little fella. You know what the funny thing was? What? I didn't even know I had it. <laughs> I look down, I see a fish, like three feet under the water. I'm like, what's that? I go, oh, it wouldn't reel up my tube. And it had it in its mouth. Come on. <laughs> I kidding you. See you later, bud. Oh. Yep. Oh, I missed him. Oh, come on. Oh, he's coming back for it. That, I got him this time. You did not. I got him this time, yeah. buddy. <laughs> How many times does he have to hit it? That's a good fish, dude. He, we saw that fish. Oh, oh. We saw that fish come down and suck something off the surface. Yeah, that's a nice fish. And I kept throwing back at it, throwing back at it. And he hit it. Oh, he's a strong fish. Just to show you, have the double team ready, eh? The tube the top water. Let's see if I can get another one to come up while you're playing that one. The one I seen down below, bud, was at least a five pounder. It was black and it was big. Really? Yeah. Why didn't I get that one? I don't know. That's probably the first one that I lost. I'm telling you, it was looking right at your bait. I could see it. You can see how clear this water is. Oh, we got great bottom structure here, right? Oh, yeah. Lots of crayfish and bait. <sighs> right there, guys. Saw him come up as I'm throwing my X pop. Just to the left of me, I saw a little boil. I'm like, what is that? Throw over there. I missed him the first time, missed him the second time, third time, and I'll well, think there, so. there was more than one. There's, there was a big black one on the bottom, bud. Look at the colors on that one. Oh, I know. Holy. Just gorgeous looking fish. All right. I think we need to go down here a bit and then do another rotation, but another another drift. Oh, for sure. Well, I had one boil on my X pot. Didn't take it, though. Okay, let's do that again. Watched him. He came right up. <laughs> Did you see him? Oh yeah, he just, I mean, I watched him come up from behind it. Whoa, come on little guy. I saw him eat it afterwards. I didn't see him swirl on it the first time. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Just popping away in this clear water. Little wee guy. Fun though. Yeah, and he come up and just swirled on it, Leo. And then he actually missed it the first time. Ooh, that guy's that acrobatic, man. Oh, there is another one right there. When you get one that's aggressive like that, you, there's always another one with him. Wait, right there. There he is, right there. You see him Wait, going down see. that way? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Go get him, buddy. Not there. Not yeah, there. That was him. Not there. Yes, it was oh, we there. We got him. Double header. I told you it was there. <laughs> I oh. seen him. Two little ones. Yeah. Right, I'm going to throw well, mine that's back. That's good that we caught him, right? Yeah, I see them, I cast them in front of them. You know what, I got a feeling there's some bigger ones around here though. If those little guys are here, I think, little one there. I think there'll be some more. Now these are what we call resident fish here. So these are the ones that pretty much live here all the time on the point. The ones we're looking for are the ones that move in and out to, to feed. And you'll notice little bloops in the water there, they're feeding off the surface. And when that happens, that's when you know they're here. So we're gonna keep going around this area. The wolf pack moves in. The wolf pack. In the meantime, we'll catch, have some fun with these resident ones. We'll always have a follow-up bait, a tube, or small bait afterwards. Notice I grabbed that bait right away, oh, yeah. as soon as Leo had his out there. Well, let's do it again. All right. Oh, oh nice! You didn't even know you had yeah, it I on. did. Oh, yeah, I watched him. I waited for him to pull the line, <laughs> but Oh, yeah, I seen him. He hit him. Oh, nice fish. Again, nobody with him. 
Not like the ones you're catching, but it's still a good fish for me, man. Hold on, let me get the net for you, <laughs> No, I'm okay, bud. That's still a good quality fish for me. The way my day's fish for anybody. Ooh, I like when they do that. Always fish are in this area. I don't know why. There we go. Nice That's quality bud. fish, though. Hey. Top water fishing. Oh, I love it. Look, look down where you got them off the front. Yeah, just that weed edge and sand deposit. Oh, weed clump right here. That's beauty right there, man. Wait, you grow up, come back. Nothing better than top water. Everybody thinks throw top water in the morning or in the evening. You can throw it all day long and catch fish like that. It's no doubt about it. And even in waves, when it's either wavy or calm, don't be afraid to throw some top water all day long. Especially these right here, these X pops. These are deadly right here. Unbelievable bait. Work really well. That color, that's Leo's color. He's the one that put me onto that color, and this thing is unbelievable. Portions of Fish TV are brought to you by Mercury. <laughs> It's time for the Fish TV Tip of the Week. Hey folks, Leo Stockos here with the Tip of the Week. You know, we had a fantastic day here in Boston Lake, but I'll tell you what, with these cold mornings, we get a lot of fog early morning on the lake. So we decided to wait for a little bit for the, some of the fog to lift up. But I'll tell you what, the key was having our Garmin GPS on the boat. That really got us safely to our spot. We go to our waypoint and we navigate it all the way there safely, even while the fog was lifting. So the next time you get out here in these cold mornings, Play it safe, guys. Get yourself a Garmin GPS. You know what? There's, a, there's one right there. Come on. Are you kidding me? This is nuts. Got him. Oh, anybody, anybody with him? Oh. That's the one I seen. Nobody with him, though, eh? Nope. This is insane. Yeah. <laughs> we just circled back in this area. I said, let's do another drift since there's so many fish here. As soon as we came off a plane, Ron looked down and said, look, there's one right there. Oh, there he goes. Good, quick release. Oh, you tried to horse him in, didn't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I just gassed it there. It's <laughs> a largemouth. You are on fire. Nice largemouth, too. Look yeah. at this. What is going on with you today? I told you, I, I, got, I got, saw some largies in here before. Wow. Look at that. Fat largie. Yes. You gotta love balsam blade. Just one little stretch here, guys. When you find them, they're there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Reel them in with the right tools from the Toyota Tackle Box. Okay, guys, let's take them out of the action and show you exactly what we're using today. Why change something that's working? We came out to shoot part two of this show, and we went right back with the X-Pop. Just seems to work on these conditions. Unbelievable, calm water, the same rod, 6'6", six, six, medium heavy rod, but some of the fish didn't commit and if they did fall to the boat, we would throw this tube at them. Looks like a crayfish when it falls. You bring this to Balsam Lake and you'll catch them just like we are. Now let's get back to that Fish TV action. All right. Ooh, that's a big one, bud. Get it in the boat, Ronnie. Anybody with him or no? No, no, let me get the net. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that's a good one, too. Come on, get this one, Leo. Yeah, beautiful. Hey, boat nice. time. There you go. Nice fish, bud. Yeah. Nice. Nobody with them. Nope. That's a big one right there. Hey, you know what? Look at That's a long, that's a good fish right there. Throw them in the water, buddy. We'll get some nice picture All there. Right, man. X pops are the deal out here. Again, dead stick in it. You stopped for a second. Yeah, I just twitched and stopped it, and he just hammered it. What a fish. Look at that. That's what you come to balsam for right there. Leo's favorite lake, as you can tell from today. I can tell you, when you fish tournaments, you won more money on this lake than any other lake. Any, any other lake. But you know why I like this lake? It's a beautiful, clear lake. Yeah. And there's so many different styles of fishing here. Top water, you can, you can flip a jig to them. You can twitch for them. It's just such a beautiful, clear body of water of lake. I'm gonna put that in with the other ones. We get a nice picture. You got it. 18 pounds of fish for four of them in there. What? <laughs> I'm telling you. <laughs> At least 18 pounds 
19 pounds for four. I got one. What are you What are you doing, catching a big fish like that? I, I, I thought that's Leo's job. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just glad I caught one, you know? Oh, yeah. Watching this guy just fire it right up all day long. Come on, buddy. Be somebody with him. Not a bad little fish, fella. All right. Come up here. He just came up and pounded that run. Nice. Got a little resident smallmouth mixed in with our big ones. Big fish. That's a pike. Oh, it's a little pike, yeah. <laughs> wow. That in the weeds. That thing just went. The pike bed. And they just started showing up here a couple years ago, eh? Yeah, they're, they haven't been here on balsa. for a while. Yeah, they're coming through the whole trend. Invasive species to this lake. It is. Is what that is. Yeah. We got bigger ones in here too, eh? And these were not here, like you said, Ron. They no. just uh, invaded Balsam Lake. I've heard them catching them up to 10 pounds in here. They come right through the lock system, but. Why didn't they come through the lock system 20 years ago? Well, the, uh, who knows, right? You know what I mean? So. Water's higher, who knows? I think you put them here, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> if I did, they'd be a lot bigger than that, trust me. <laughs> For a picture after. Oh, nice. You gotta get him first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice fish. Oh. Look at that, dude. A pig. Ah. Beauty. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I, I even heard that. Oh. oh, look at double it up. We got a school going on, boys. Triple. Scotty, oh, yeah, over there quick. got a triple. He's got one in his hand. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Oh, there's two or three of them with it. Look at this. Look at, look at. Look. Oh, yeah, that's some big ones. <laughs> Scotty, catch them here, bud. Oh. Oh, he just came off. Yeah, mine did. <laughs> there, was a, there was two. Yeah, right there. Wow, this is crazy. I have never, ever had smallmouth fishing in all the years I've been fishing like this. Unreal. Triple headers. Like, like I said, this is when this spot shines right now. No doubt. <laughs> five fish in what? Five minutes? Yeah. Wow. Wow, I'm going for that wow is that ever fun? One of these is going to be a giant. Right in the weeds, eh? Ooh, that's a giant. That's a, that's a cow. <laughs> that is a cow, bud. <laughs> What's this now? Where, where are you? Oh, that looked like a cow. Hold him, hold him there, hold him there. Oh, hold him there. That's all I can do. <laughs> One hook. One hook. I'm going to get him. Just like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow, that fish is like, how many fish is that? Six fish in five minutes, but we just, we just got here. There's a big school of smallmouth right here. And they're all nice ones like that. I tell you what, this is unbelievable. And I don't really like small moths. They're today. aggressive too. <laughs> nice. Yeah. As soon as it hit the water. Oh, he's all over it. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> Get out of here! I came clear out of the water. <laughs> it didn't even touch the bait. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, look at that thing. Oh, what a take. It's another cow. Oh, there's one behind. Two of them. Three of them. Where, 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 what? Oh, look at this. Right below, right below. I see it, right I see below. it, I see it, I see it. You're still there? Yep. Oh, you're going to rip me off. He just came up and smashed it because there was two of them there. Oh. Oh. Nice. That is a good fish, bud, right there. Just crushed it, too. I'll tell you oh, what. Man. Man, 
You have been on fire Matt, all day, it's dude. It's been a phenomenal day. All list. day, buddy. <laughs> I can't believe you. I have never seen you fish like this. What's going uh, on? Balsam Lake, buddy, my That's favorite cool. lake. I love it, absolutely love it. And you know, we had our good friend Scott Holmes join us today. Yeah. And you know what? He caught just as many fish as we did. And probably more in the morning. On. Yeah, he put a clinic on it this morning. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. So I'll tell you what, guys, when you get a nice fall day like this and it's calm, get out here to Balsam Lake. Oh. Smash some big smallmouth and largemouth. Oh, Until oh, next time, guys, oh, oh. I'm Leo Stackles. I'm Rod James. We'll see you next time on Fish TV. Bye bye everyone. Woo, yeah, you are baby. Fire, dude. That was wicked. <laughs> Holy, one big fish after another. Beautiful, man. You know what? We stopped to take a couple pictures. Time to put these bad girls back in the water. Catch them again tomorrow. Look at she's trying to bite me. Look at. Well, that's the one I caught. Yeah, that's yeah. right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. That is just fantastic. Come on, baby. There you go. See you later. Whew. Got it. Fish TV was brought to you by Lund, the ultimate fishing experience. Your Ontario Toyota dealers, real people, great cars, and Toyota Genuine Parts. Bring your Toyota home. <laughs>